it's Wes, welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about what Canon did when they announced the R5 on April 20th. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, let's get into today's video. I'm a former English teacher, that's my confession. And sometimes I remember the classes I took where they told that form has to do with function. And so today's genre of review of the Canon April 20th announcement will take the form of an epic poem. Let us begin, shall we? First, this is for everyone who says I look like James Hetfield. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Never mind that noise you heard. It's just a beast under your bed, in your closet, in your head. Ode to the R5. Yes, I was there, huddled around the tiny glowing screen. It was on my phone. Yes, it was on my TV. Watching the professionals discussing the deets of the next wave of cinematic and photographic beasts that were to be unleashed upon the unsuspecting and the God-fearing crew. Photographers and filmmakers, yes, that's you. If you have a few minutes, I will regale you with this horrific and epic tale of what we all experienced on that fateful day when Canon live-streamed what it had to say about the R5. Surely, there's no time better to be alive. And the hero of this poem is you. You are the mighty, the brave, and the true. It's you who will subdue the speck-ridden terror, unless all the reports have been in error. Jump right in, let us, before the video watch time plummets. <laughs> all right, first of all, make no mistake, the hero or heroine of this poem is not fake. Full of muscles and brains and beauty, almighty photographers, we salute thee. The beast that lurks in the shadows, named R5, reportedly can attack with 8K might, eating up SD cards, winning the fight, but do not fear, dear hero, for the dual weapon you've needed is near though. Cannon from the clouds above has humbly bestowed dual card slots so that if one fails, you can continue the show. Now, the 8K we know is at 30 frames. And while that file size seems quite big and the FPS seems tame, look below and you will see that that 8K loot can come in a 422 10-bit Canon log recording to boot. No. We're not done. All 8K modes are a virtual treasure trove with dual pixel CMOS autofocus in hand. All the Sony users are thinking of breaking up the band. Before you can cry, Atomos, 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 and object that you'll need an external recorder for this. This is internal recording of the 8K RAW. Yes, now's a good time to drop your jaw. But hero, fear not, I know you feel crushed, and I know your soul feels overwhelmed, but you are the mighty captain, our fearless shooter, and you are at the helm. What else do you have, you scream back into the live stream? The pixels are reaching out from the glowing screen, they're stretching and distending, as if this information you're hearing, the internet is rending. We're all hunkered down in our isolated places, letting the light of the announcement splash across our faces. We've been thirsty for too long to be scared of these specs. What else do you have? Our wallets are safe and not yet wrecked. For 8K, for 8K is a lot, that's true. But no one knows how long you can record in one take, and the money needed for the memory cards might make the R5 too much to take. That's what you think to yourself, Canon, that's two strikes. So this, you tell yourself, is strike two. But Canon was not unwise. They placed the announcement of the R5 at the end of the stream when you're already feeling weak from listening to specs of cameras you'll never own from the volumetric Canon laboratory that lives in a dome. And you're already underwhelmed by the lowest energy of any announcers. They're getting ready to put you on the ropes, they're getting ready to pounce. You remember they started the R5 piece by running through the history that led to this beast. 
the short history of the R and the RP, and the nine lenses that we have seen released. <laughs> the past. Yes, last year was glorious, and we used the R and RP, and we're not disabused that Canon was returning to the throne, and we, tiny band of Canon users, we felt like we were coming into our own. Suddenly, you realize you've drifted off, and you tense, and you know that they are lulling you into a false sense. That's the past, and this is now. Yes, Canon 8K, but a 4K. What and how? Information drifts past your mind. Okay, the CMOS, the image sensor, it's been newly designed. They drop a bomb that doesn't go off. Coming are seven new RF lenses, but of what focal length? The R5 will deliver both videos and stills, but they said this announcement will be focused on video. Your mind drifts of photos. Will they even mention the megapixels of the sensor? Spoiler alert, they don't. Suddenly in front of you, the screen explodes. 4K uncropped, 4K 120 FPS video, 4K with CMOS autofocus. Yes, the dual pixel kind, all 4K modes with autofocus. It bends the mind. Can it be true that you will have access to true uncropped 4K 120 frames per second goodness? Just like the 8K, this is all 422 10-bit in C-Log. Your eyes are bulging, your mind's been jogged. This is the camera you've seen in your dreams. What, what's that they just said? Image stabilization is a thing? The body is equipped to stabilize. You're looking for a sign they are misleading, that they are saying lies, but their eyes are quite serious. Speaking of eyes, eye, head, and face tracking is enhanced. You think to yourself, I don't stand a chance. Please price this new camera body at 10K, then I don't have to think about it. I can just pray it away. And it can be floating out there only in the best studios in the world. But in my home, in my bag, the Osar can stay and continue to be my world. It can do a lot. It can shoot 4K, well, cropped. It has an SD card slot. The truth is, no one knows when the beast is coming. In the background of this announcement, the call to arms drummers were drumming, but they fade away, they fall away fast. Yes, the specs were amazing, but the memory won't last because there's no release date, you tell yourself, and furthermore, no price. Our fever breaks, our blood returns to ice, we steal ourselves in an hour or maybe a day and realize we just got swept away by the beautiful primordial beast that came out at us through our little screens. So photographers, tame your imagination and get back into the game. Shoot with the camera you have and don't care what they say. Yes, better specs and better cameras will inevitably arrive. But remember, a camera is just inert. It's an object without a mind. The force that creates, constructs, tries again, and eventually wins. It's you, the photographer, that makes all the difference, my friends. So believe in yourself and believe in your craft. And think of this live stream announcement as a momentary nap. It was a blink of an eye and now it's gone. And we, with the cameras we have, must, must go on. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video reflecting on Canon's big announcement. Take a moment to leave a comment. Give me a like if you like any part of this video. Give me a like for trying something new, um, combining epic poetry with uh, Canon reviews. Um, subscribe if you want to see videos like this in the future. I'm dedicating to making content that matters to you. Peace.